years 2012 and 2017, she was actually their flagship. This model in concrete was actually delivered in 2012 to her first client who took her to Greece and then sold in 2017 to her second client and last client who has the boat right now. Since being in his possession, he has constantly done continuous yearly upgrades and refits. She's in perfect condition. She is equipped with two manned V8 engines, giving a total power of 1,000 horsepower on each engine, giving a top speed of 39 knots and a cruising speed of 32. Please, let's go on board. As you can see, she has a lovely sun pad, half sun pad here. Then we go into the open space, where you again, you have a lovely new form sofa, where here you can eat at least six to seven people, entertain. On the starboard side, we find this barbecue set, the sink and the barbecue. Below, we have a fridge, two fridges actually, okay? And then, slightly further on, garbage place, an ice maker, Here, we've got a workstation where you can cut the bread or whatever, prepare the drinks before serving. And then you've got one passenger seat here. Right next to the passenger seat, you've got the sound system, fusion sound system, very new. Over here, we've got the helm station. As you can see, she's got balanced stern thruster. She is equipped with two man engine V8s of a thousand horsepower each, giving her a cruising speed of 32 knots and a maximum speed of 39. Okay, the, elect the electronic controls, you've got a Raymarine radar and GPS, depth sounder, all in one unit. These are the uh, gauges of the two engines, well, one on the starboard, one on the port. Okay, let's close this up. Now we go down here into the saloon. Where we have a complete kitchen, well, galley as we are the boat. So you've got an oven, the hob, electric hob. Here you've got a big fridge. Again, with sorry, fridge, deep freezer, and an ideal place to keep some soft drinks or or biscuits or spices. Okay, here we got a drawer. We have the cups. Further down. We have the dishwasher and here we have a cupboard for the cleaning products and the garbage. Okay, it's right on the other side, on the port side, we have again a U sofa with a big TV screen on the other side with places to put drawers, with magazines here as well, books. And then we've got the VIP cabin which is very light, has a lot of window area, okay? And this is the emergency exit if ever needed, but you can use it in the summer to open up and always have a nice cool breeze coming down into the cabin. On each side of the cabin, you have wardrobes. And then here, you have a complete shower, uh, bathroom with shower. And as I was saying before, on each side of this cabin, you have a big wardrobe. And right behind you, you have another big wardrobe as well. Here. Okay, now we'll go back into the saloon. And then we'll go to the first guest cabin, which is actually a bunk cabin. There's two bunks. One bunk is slightly bigger. And as we're in winter mode, the other bunk on top is filled up with cushions and stuff. Okay, then here on this side, 
on the starboard side again, you have what we call the day heads, but it comes as a shower. So it is a complete bathroom, which is used by this cabin on the other side here, on the port side, which is the bunk bed cabin. Then going down these three steps, we go to the master cabin, which has a very nice design. As you can see, a lot of window space again, a lot of natural light comes in here. Nice big double bed. Again, double cupboards on each side. Okay, so you've got this cupboard here, that one over there. Lighting by the bed to read. Here we've got another cupboard as well. So there's plenty of, of room to keep one's belongings, private belongings. Okay. And this being the master cabin, the bathroom is split in two. So on one side, you have here the loo. Okay. Again, with a porthole, so you can get natural air in. On the other side here, you have a nice big shower with a seat. Okay. And this very attractive sink place with the big open window behind it. All right. We also have a flat screen TV. So you can watch TV while you're in the cabin. Okay. Then we go out of here and we have this place which normally someone would put the washing machine here. But as the owner of this boat has been using it mainly as a day cruiser, they've decided to put a big fridge here. Okay, so another fridge, have plenty of cold drinks. But that can be changed and a washing machine can be put there. Okay. So now we go out of the interior, go back to the bridge. You can see, like I said before, nice big open space. This has a target top. As you can see, the uh, opening of the roof works perfectly well and gives a lot of extra light. So this goes all the way back here. So you've got all this area of open, which will be open, which is ideal when you're cruising, because then you get a lot of nice fresh air coming in, or even when you're anchored. You can be here under the shade, but you're always getting a breeze from this open hatch, well, of, of, the, of the roof, right? So now what we'll do is we'll show the bow on the vessel. As you can see, the top, the canvas top here is brand new, in perfect condition. The side deck is wide, and what is good is they put a railing here, so when the boat is moving, you can always pull yourself to the railing and go to the back. And here, this is the roof bar I told you before, which opens up. Okay? Then on the bow, you can have a special front cushion, which Two to four people can lay down here and enjoy the sun. Again, you've got music, you've got a control of the fusion system here, which now has been covered. It's here, okay? Anyway, I'll, I'll just leave it as it is. It seems to be a bit tight. All right, now, you've got a beautiful view, a lot of space. Like I said, she is a 58. In meters, that is 17 meters, 0.17. And she has a displacement of 29 tons. As you can see, the teak deck is in perfect condition. She's always had a captain on board all year round. They're always very well looked after. Everything is in macular condition. I would say nearly better than you. Then now we go down 